All right, hey everybody, welcome back to 2000 Hours of Banjo. If you just watched my other video, yes, there was something I forgot to add, and that is I'm starting to dive into the world of music theory. If you follow my channel, particularly if you saw my first episode I ever put out or video that I ever put out, you know that I've got no musical background. I did not play an instrument as a kid. I wasn't in the choir or anything like that. Uh, I, I first picked up an instrument uh, at the age of 49. Uh, so I have, I have no background behind that. I always thought that musicians were just gifted or skilled. Um, and so was just kind of too afraid and, and, and not that interested in picking up an instrument until later in life. So that means I have no music theory knowledge whatsoever. And now that I even know that there is a thing called music theory, uh, that's probably a good thing because I've always wondered, I had, I've had lots of questions uh, as I've learned this instrument, like why is a C chord called a C chord? What's the, the difference between a key and a scale? Because I'm hearing those words and I have no idea what they mean, especially when you have to play in a key. I don't, I don't know what that means. So an effort to kind of expose myself to the world of music theory, uh, which I'm not exactly going to do with my instructor just yet. He's going to wait a couple of months before, uh, while I build up some more skill before diving into that. But I want to kind of have some of the language, some of the vocabulary ready. So what I've done is I've gotten a couple of books. First one being, of course, Music Theory for Dummies. I'm a little bit into this one. It does start out uh, with mostly how to read sheet music, which I guess is good to know. Uh, most banjo music is in, is in tablature and not sheet music, but I guess it's, it's good to know that. So the first like 90 pages or so are, are just, I, I don't know how, how applicable that is. I'm getting into the chapter called Circle of Fifths. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'll find out. The next thing I got was this book. Basic Music Theory for, for Banjo Players. My wife got this. I think this is the book that um, Banjo Attic recommended. And this is actually more applicable. I've read through it once, like months ago. Um, or I shouldn't say I read through it. I kind of leafed through it. But I need to reread this one. Actually, I probably need to reread all of these or going to reread all of these many times before it starts to sink in. Uh, the other one I got was the best music theory book for beginners. There's apparently seven of these books. I just have the first one right now. So we'll see if it really is the best one because I've got quite a few here and now I can compare. The other book I got is the Bluegrass Banjo Chord Bible with 2,160 chords. Neat. I have no idea what any of this means. E flat seven plus five dash nine. Maybe one day I'll know what the hell that means. The last thing I got is this thing from Noisy Clan and it's basically uh, the circle of, I believe this is the circle of fifths. Yeah, circle of fifths and it's some kind of cool decoder ring. Um, so I'll learn how to use that and, and what all <laughs> this means. At some point, we'll see. The last thing I'm doing, obviously, is the same thing that I think a lot of people should probably do is watch YouTube videos. There's tons of YouTube videos on music theory. I know Banjo Addict has a couple of videos on music theory. Eli Gilbert has a couple of videos on music theory. There's this other guy that I'm currently watching episodes of. His name is Ricky Komiski. Uh, most of that is mu music theory geared towards guitar but I think there's a lot of overlap there, so I'm checking that out. I'm basically watching videos or reading uh, right before I go to bed. Um, it kind of helps me go to sleep at this point, but I'm hoping if I just stick with it and continue with that habit, build that habit, that some of this will start to sink in and then some of it will start to make sense. And then in a couple of months when we're my instructor is teaching me scales and keys and all that stuff that 
all of this will kind of gel together and help me out. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. I've got some practice to do, so I will see you later.